All right, how's everybody? How are we doing today? All of you, hopefully. Well, right? Good. We're talking about french fries in the chat right now. Who we got in here? We've got Ballistic Mallard. We've got Curry. We've got Roni the Chihuahua. We've got Naval. We have... Well, that's everybody who's talked so far. Good to see you all. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Murphy. This is the Black Beanie Stream. And today, we're going to go over the submissions from the most recent build-off, the one that added, ended just this past Sunday. Uh, didn't do it yesterday. We're doing it today. And hopefully the internet stays good because it's uh, kind of thunderstorming outside and my internet gets finicky when it's uh, going crazy. Who else we got in here? Slush, good to see you. <laughs> oh no, Slush, I'm sorry. I forgot all of my European friends are... are uh... Can I go sleep? <laughs> Sir Shipbuilder, good to see you. Thomas, excellent. So glad all of you guys could make it. Very happy to see you all. We've got a couple submissions in here. I'll show it to you guys in just a second. As you know, the theme for the most recent build-off was... Boats. That was pretty much it. Really nothing more complicated than that. Just whatever kind of boat you can build within uh, a solid six days. Which is fine. Uh, we have a couple of dual submissions here. Uh, Stormtrooper posted two different boats and Lemig31 posted two different types of boats. Um, in a traditional build-off, back when we used to do them monthly, I would say don't post multiple, but since honestly it's not really a competition, so to speak, it's mainly just build a bunch of cool stuff and submit it, uh, I think it's okay. If you want to build multiple things, um, go ahead. <laughs> There's really nothing on the line. Scrut sleep moment. Scrut! Wake up! Right this moment! Okay. Let's hop right into this here. As all of you know, we got links down in the video description below where you can follow us on social medias, where you can find the merch store. We got awesome stuff like hoodies and stickers and all sorts of fun bits and bobs that you can collect. <sighs> as well as join us as a YouTube member down there for as low as $2 a month. That's pretty awesome, if you ask me. I'm not gonna be one of those OnlyFans type people who charges $30 a month just on the off chance that I do something. Anyways, let's get into it. This is the Build Off Channel. Templar, good to see you. Wait, Templar? How long has it been since you've been in here? Jungus. Bennis. <laughs> All right, we have our submissions here. Uh, we're just going to go through them in the order that they were submitted as opposed to trying to find everybody's individual thing. Here were the parameters of this latest build off uh, boats submitted by Sunday. It includes aircraft carriers, battleships, destroyers, tugboats, pirate ships, ancient naval vessels, submarine style vessel vessels, shipwrecks, etc. It does not include canoes, kayaks, paddleboards, small one man watercraft. You know the deal. But yes, this is what we got. We're starting things off with Mr. Meg 31 with the Project 771 NATO reporting name. Rapucha? Is that how you pronounce it? Rapucha? Class landing ship BBK-102 Kaliningrad 1 to 1. Let us pull up a picture of this beauty. Project 775 BDK-102 Boot. We're looking at boots. Ooh, we got some good pictures of it here. Hold tight. There we go. Finding a good one that's a decent size. Opening the image in a new tab. Ba-boom. And 
Baboom. Here we go. And this is their version right there. Big old 102 on the side. How's about we blow that up a little bit? Huh. What do you say? <laughs> what is this big boy behind it? My goodness. WIP, does that mean work in progress? Let's zoom in on this bad boy here. Look at that. So cool. Hold on, let me pull the chat back up. There we go, I can see you guys again. <laughs> Ballistic says, I'm the style guy. Murphy's OnlyFans. <laughs> It'll be only stash. It'll just be pictures of the mustache. That's it. Do I vape? Yes, unfortunately. Do you think you could allow reaction emojis from the other servers on the videos chat? Uh, sure. There are some people who don't do naughties. That's very true. That is very, very true. Some people just post like art and all sorts of stuff up there. Uh, oh, it's not unfortunate, but it's it's just due to the, the ubiquity of naughty, naughty content that uh, OnlyFans has kind of become synonymous with uh, butts. Oscar Dillon III, good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Tyler Robson, good to see you. Uh, I don't have my water bottle within arm's reach, so I'm just going to uh, take a sip of this here. Delicious. Beverage that I already had sitting by me. All right, but yes, this is the, what is it called? The Project 775 BDK 102 submitted by MIG. And this is the boat right here. Ignore this in the background. I'm assuming this right here is the anchor. So you can see it over here. We've got this ball turret looking thing right there. Did you include that? I think that might be what this is ball turret. I can kind of see it. But it's got this really long deck right here. Slopes up gently, just like so. It might just be this angle here, but I think this slope is a bit longer than right here. I think like, see how it starts like right above the 1 and the 102? But I don't know how you would make it so gradual without it kind of just taking over the whole front of the boat or being more steep of an angle than you'd want. <laughs> it's okay, James. Good to see you. Good to see ya. COH City of Heroes. Nice. Yeah, I can change the emoji stuff later. Hey, Blue Horns. Good to see ya. Big. Well, it's okay. We might do boats again in the future. Anyways, uh, we don't have a view of what this looks like under the water, so I'm going to assume that this is accurate here. Bow looks fine. It's got that nubby nose in front of it there. Got that mast in the front. All of these little bits and bobs. It's going to be the word for today. And what is this, the bridge and comms tower looking thing there? That all looks pretty good. Got this satellite, I'm assuming, on the back. Some kind of communications equipment right there on the back. Could be a floodlight. I have no idea what that is. But you've got it pretty much dialed in right there. You get these long cylindrical looking thingamajigs right there. Yeah, railings all look fine. This looks a little bit shorter IRL than it does on yours, but it looks like you've got the number of like little portholes pretty much down pat. Let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, eight, two, two. 
one five four eight two two yeah nice looks like you've even got like life preservers and stuff on there neat let's get another picture okay oh here we go top down my goodness what is this gigantic thing in the back there is that like one of those cargo ships that uh carries all the freight across the ocean that is huge <laughs> only murph hair picks yeah yeah good luck with that pixel measured the thing very accurate gotcha <laughs> the word you're looking for is greebling it means random details to add sophistication Ooh. I see. Radar dish. Okay, so that's what that thing on the back was. Slush says, if I was midway through being 10 when I started watching, I'd by, by now be old enough to be on the server. That's true. That is true. We've been, uh, we've been around for a couple of years now there, boys. Started in November of 2018. Deck looks great. I don't have a picture of the deck to compare it to, but I'm going to assume that it's accurate, seeing as everything else looks pretty accurate. Anvils are a good... What did Slush say they were? Greebling. <laughs> Anvils are a good choice. Anvils have, like, in this game at least, they have, like, an industrial look to them. They could represent just about anything that's, uh... Like, rectangular that has some kind of purpose. Yeah, I like the communication tower. Looks great. Stern looks good. How close did you have to get uh, to keep these iron bars from disappearing? I'm assuming you had to stay relatively close. And what's all this right here? These floating little bits. Get another view. Just like anything in Minecraft, it looks better like the further away from it you get. It's like a mosaic painting. Or what is that? Pointillism? Oh yeah, look at that butt. Look at that butt. Mm. What do they post on only boats? Sterns. Nothing but sterns and bows. This is an unprotected vessel. There are no lifeboats. <laughs> I wish it was beer. No, it's Red Bull. Apart from that slope not starting where it does IRL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Hydration time! You know what? For you, Roni, I will grab my water bottle. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Two holes? My god! Got the propellers there. Oh, that's interesting. Using... What did you got there? You got skulls as the, uh... The knob pointy bits on the, uh, propellers. Mmm. 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 I always have to use the bathroom so bad after these streams. <laughs> All right. Are these buttons? On the back here? Are there deep slate buttons? Because I'm assuming that's what that is, right? That's deep slate that you're using there? This looks like stone, and that looks like andesite. These look like andesite wall pieces. It's a deep slate of black stone. It's very hard for me to tell the difference. These are dark prismarine... Uh, stair pieces there. And yeah, Slush is right. All the antennas on the back there, they look like fishing poles. Fish poles for the fish. Buttons. Buttons. Sternons. <laughs> what? Naval what? What is it, Naval? Tyler is correct. There is an official link to the merch store in the uh, video description down below. Um, ew, there's something in my beverage. Where are you?
gross. Yes, the uh, <coughs> ass of your building of your of your ship here looks fantastic, Mister Mig. Oh, here we go. Better shot of the stern. There we go. Is it weird that I'm getting flashbacks to all of the Call of Duty maps that take place on like a destroyer or like a landing ship? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. You got a lot of detail. You're not going crazy with like shaders or anything like that. You're just using what Minecraft has to offer in the base of vanilla game, the vanilla experience. Not even using a, uh, what do I call that, a resource pack. What do you got over here? Explain. These look like stair pieces with something on top of them. Is that some kind of pressure plate? Something like that? And then you got a couple stair pieces inside to give it that slatted look. Yeah, I like it. Excellent job. You've turned basic Minecraft parts, like Legos, into something that looks highly realistic when viewed from afar. Got a lot of respect for that. Oh, here we go. Here's a much better look at the main deck of the build here. Got a little helicopter over there. Yeah, the only difference is I think that... Yeah, you see how it starts to angle upwards around the 102 there? I think that's just about the only thing that's really off about the build. And there we go. Fully top-down view right here. Really good shot. Get a good view of the symmetry. And it is pretty symmetrical. If you were to draw a line straight down the middle, that is pretty symmetrical, aside from some of this stuff here. But I'm guessing this right here... Huh, I don't see that on this. It's like back here. Whatever this right here is, I don't see that on this version. The real version. Alright, Tyler! Papa. Thank you so much. Acacia pressure plates. Gotcha. Can I make a Minecraft city series? Uh, I actually am trying, but I uh, don't really find myself having a lot of time to commit to it at the moment, but I'm hoping that changes. I'm hoping that changes. You know, Slush, I think I'd agree with that. All right, Tyler, good night. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, very well done, Mig. We'll get to your next one in just a bit. Now we have... Stormtrooper with a speedboat. A speedy boat. Where is it? There it is. Ah, right, there we go. And just a little speedboat. He got some of his buddies chilling on the boat. See that? You got some of the buddies there? Got some seats for your friends. Need some more angles here, my man. Need to be able to see more of what this boat looks like. Might help to take uh, screenshots um, instead of just pictures of the screen. Uh, you see, you get all of these. Uh, you can see the pixels in the image is basically what I'm trying to say. But that's a speedboat, very nice. And a cargo ship, okay. Got your command tower here. Plenty of glass to cover up the, the uh, command room there. I'd like to see inside the command room, if that would be, that wouldn't be too much trouble. That goes for you too, Mig. 
If you got any interiors on your builds, I'd love to see them. I'd like to know what this is. Yeah, it is a little pixelated, so it's hard to make out some of the details where there are details. Um, it looks like you've got an interior here. I'd like to see that. But otherwise, you're trying to do some stuff here. Trying to do some kind of variation here. I'd like a little bit of an explanation as to what's going on with all of these blocks there, if that's just supposed to be freight or something. But yeah, you've got the general shape of the boat down. A lot of room for progress, um, make no mistake about it. The more you build these things, the, the better you will get at them, I promise. Holy shit, this is a huge photo. Yet it's so pixelated. That's okay. That's okay, yes. Get get in the habit of taking a handful more pictures of the of the of the build from say different angles, uh, some interior shots. Some I don't know. You don't necessarily have to get like cinematic with it, but just get a little creative before you decide to plop yourself down and take photos of the build. Really try to highlight what you like about it, um, its strengths. Maybe try to mask some of the weaknesses. Um, and then don't be afraid to just gush about what it is your build actually is, like in the description here. See how Smucko there puts a couple of blurbs in there. Mig has like a really good uh, succinct description of what his is, and he also includes the scale. Also a little bit of history about it, like NATO reporting name of Ruchas, so that's like some uh, real world information about the build. Yeah, you got a speedboat, did you give it a name? All sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. So they're very simple. And it's it's not like you didn't put any effort into it. Like, I mean, I don't want you to look at some of these incredibly detailed, like, shaded, uh, texture pack laden versions of everybody else's thing. Like, just ignore what they're doing. Focus on yourself, obviously. Um, but you make you'll make progress. Keep making stuff. You'll get a lot better at, at mirroring things in real life and taking some creative liberties, uh, figuring out how to take things that look impossible to recreate in Minecraft and kind of working around that to basically make a, a convincing analog in the game, a convincing model. Oh yeah, it's it's fine if you take pictures of your screen. Um, I would just prefer that, you know, you don't because it, it everybody's screen is different. If you've got like a 4K display where the pixels are like almost microscopic, then, you know, I don't know, go for it. Um, but if you've got just like a, a regular TA, what is it, TN or a VA panel uh, instead of like an IPS, you know, you can have all sorts of coloration issues. You can see the uh, the pixels and weird colorations and the see how there's like a wave right here. Like, yeah, you can just see the patterns and everything that are like the components of the actual display, which is fine. But yeah, Stormtrooper, keep practicing, keep building. I sent some impressive things in your future. Do not give up. Keep going. All right. Yes, I do have a VPN. Uh, I do have Windows 11. <laughs> yes, Discord has some kind of compression thing they do that, uh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Slushy. Yes, I can go straight to the Europeans. We'll finish MIGS and we'll do uh, slush. We'll do slush next and then we'll finish MIGS. Okay. So we're gonna pull up a picture of the inspiration that you used. And then we are going to pull up your build.
And thank you for not using any shaders or anything like that. Look at that. Yeah. It's a little noisy when you look at it. When you look at like the sides of the of the build from this angle. But this is a really, really good shot of the sail. In the front of the build in general. So you get that kind of like scoop, that like pointy little nose right there. That thing looks pretty good. <laughs> Finish MIG. You better believe it. Anyways, yes. Excellent build, excellent amount of detail. Ooh, did you add these little like fin things down here? Because I don't see that on this. Feel free to explain what you decided to change and uh, what you decided to keep while, while we have you. It looks really good. Yeah, I love it. Look at all that detail. What'd you use for the uh, the cabling there? Those just like fence pieces? That's always such a, a difficult decision for me to make. Like, how do I want to make cables? Minecraft really needs some kind of like angled piece. It'd be really nice. Murp exposed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I hate that. I hate it. Will I look at share your builds after the build-off reactions are done? Uh, if you want. Daniel, build uh, the shard. Yeah, I like all the details that you decided to add in here. Um, I'm not going to lie, it, it's a little noisy. Uh, you kind of lose some of the shape of the ship right here. But I feel like if you simplified it, it wouldn't be as visually interesting as it is. Do you know what I mean? It's got like a, like a, like a pirate skeleton ship type vibe. I really like it. I think this might be my favorite shot. I love the sail. I think the sail might be my favorite thing about it. I like that you use these uh, fence pieces here to kind of like what? What are these? Like these spines that are in the uh, the picture over here. You've used fence pieces to kind of uh, mirror that or replicate that, I should say. And then all of these black accenting there looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, this is... Slush, I'm running out of good things to say about the stuff that you build because it's just consistently good. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, it's Slush again, being great. No, it really is. It's awesome. It's visually distinct. It's very creative. Um, you didn't just straight up copy what you made over here. I did want to add more details. There is a bit of advice uh, that I got a long time ago. It's common advice, so it wasn't unique to me. And it certainly wasn't the only um, mentor to say this to a mentee, teacher to a student type thing. Kill your darlings. Sometimes you will do some stuff that you just love so much and you'll kind of be like, you'll just kind of get intoxicated by all of the things that you feel like you can add, all of the good things that you feel like you can put into something, um, that sometimes you kind of neglect what the project itself needs or doesn't need. Um, now the context that I was given that advice was in a, a creative writing uh, course. Uh, so, not always the same. It's like, oh man, you have a really good description of this one random thing, but it does not serve any purpose to the story. You've got a really good idea for a scene, but it doesn't really fit into the context of the rest of the narrative. You know what I mean? Yeah, this speech with this music. 
Sludge should be banned for being too good. No. I mean, you could argue that Slush is the master of the build-off. I want everybody to participate. I'm just hoping one of these days we get, like, a, uh, a topic that everybody feels comfortable enough joining in on. But yeah, Slush, absolutely incredible, as always. Absolutely incredible. I'm worried that if I give praise, it sounds too similar it won't seem genuine anymore like i'm not being sincere um because like oh yeah it's good like no like you always put out amazing work so yes thank you very much for submitting this it looks awesome fantasy flying eye candy ship didn't use shaders just for murphy did kind of cheat by not building certain details on the left side i did notice that yeah you've only got pictures on the right side uh, yeah, it's it's great. It's great, Slush. Thank you so much. Okay, now we have MIG's other ship here. The Z-20 Carl Galster, type 1936-class destroyer of the Kriegsmarine in 1-to-1 -one scale. So let's look that up. Z-20... Carl Galster. Geometers, please. Didn't find a good image. <laughs> you cheated by starting a little. It's fine. <laughs> Roni, what are you talking about? Yes! Slush, you always build for yourself. Always build for yourself. If you want a little bit of extra validation, go ahead. Um, but yeah, you should know what you're building is great. And it doesn't have to look photorealistic to be great. If you put a lot of effort and energy into something, and you are damn proud of it, then you absolutely should be damn proud of it. What the hell is this? What what does what does this What does this have to do with this? Someone connect the dots for me please. I cheated by eating beans. It's a performance enhancing uh, thing. It does look like Nazi anime, doesn't it? Oh, I shouldn't say that. I might get demonetized. Nah, eh, fuck that, actually. Nazis are literally the scum of the earth and they are subhuman, so screw them they've infested all of the platforms that i enjoy and they they just make everything worse for everybody so it'd be totally awesome if they could just be uh roni was talking about a snap so if we could snap our fingers and get rid of any sect of people i think they're the only ones that uh should be Azure Lane is a shitty mobile game about World War II ships as anime girls. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Johnny Tom 84K. Yo, I built your Freedom Tower building. Very cool. Uh, I've got a better one coming out hopefully in the next few weeks. Naname. Oh, God. All I know is that the internet needs to stop with this with this like it it's this weird obsession with oh i want to turn everything into a unnecessarily sexualized pre-adolescent girl it's like 
Stop being weird and gross. Settle down. Go to therapy. Anyways. Oh, we got a good model here. Yeah, okay, this is just in profile and uh, bird's eye, but I think this will serve our purposes just fine, considering how gigantic the picture is. Okay, is this the right ship, MiG? Z-20 Carl Gaster? 1936 class, Kriegsmarine, duh -duh. Duh -duh. Ooh, it's a big boy. That's 10 meters. <laughs> Johnny Tom, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I appreciate that. More tutorials are coming. Promise. Roni says, no offense, but if you like anime, I'm sorry, but I have the urge to kick y'all. <laughs> Do you mean hentai or anime? Because I like anime. Yeah, there are plenty of, there are plenty of good animes. There are so many good ones. Okay, good. This is the right one. Let's zoom out just a smidge so it's above my head. And we can just navigate by swiping left and right. And let's take a look at some of your pictures. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, so you got 10 meters here. <laughs> both. You're talking about both. Ethan, good to see you. I am well. How are you? Oh, there's some great animes. I like them. So this little pointy bit right there at the bow is 10 meters, so we should be able to count back 10 spaces and it'll look about the same, which it does. I'm gonna guess here that this might be about 12 to 15 meters. This might be the same. And the same, it could be, it could easily be broken off into like 15 meter segments. Everything's got that kind of like even spacing to it. And I'd say that yours does too. Just comparing it with this profile shot we got. Messages. Yep, I like the uh, center mast there. Okay, it's a uh, it's a little difficult to see the front of the smokestack here. Um, you see, like in this picture right here, they've got more of a gap between, I guess, the command tower. I don't know the technical names for all this stuff. <laughs> slush. Yeah, you got this here. There's a little bit more of a gap between that and then the smokestack. As you can see here, there's not much of a gap right there. Well, this this is it, it is a gap. It is a significant gap. They are roughly the same height, which is correct. There's just a little bit more space right here before that smokestack starts. You can see, like, the majority of it. I also have this lifeboat right here that's kind of blocking my view a little bit, but... Ultimately, I think this is pretty spot on. Distance between the flag on this mast back here. Rear smokestack and the front smokestack. These are not equidistant from one another. This is These are closer together than these two, and that looks to be about the same case here. Lots of end rods for illumination. I like it. Flag's a little big. What are you going to do? I don't know what this is. There's a bunch of green lines. 
There's like a bunch of... Oh, there's almost no gap on the real thing. Picture is inaccurate. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, Ethan, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate you, man. All right, let's get a different view of your build when compared to the inaccurate picture. Yeah. Okay, better views of the smokestacks there. I like what you did at the end rods. I actually do. Now, are these like full-fledged interiors? Can you go in here or is it just like empty space? Rear of the build looks fine. Oh, okay, I got you. You added some more stuff later. More excellent use of anvils here. <laughs> Am I so out of touch? No, it's the kids who are wrong. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so you see these, this rounded section here, this kind of like figure eight section, kind of looks like a dumbbell or a pair of boobies, if you will with square nipples. That's this right here. We get these two turrets. You can see to the left of my head, one is there, one is there. And you've got what looks like a small little tower with an anti-aircraft gun on top. <laughs> what? Why do you hate me? Don't hate me. Please, Naval. please. These little bits right here, these look like uh, chains. Tripwire. Oh, I see what you did to substitute these little uh, triangular protrusions there. Right there and there. Let's see, you got a picture of the underside? Yes, you do. All right. Pull that up. Oh, they're under distance. <laughs> okay. Naval, why? Why? Don't leave. Cancel beans. <laughs> All beans are canceled forever. Okay, um, not seeing much in the way of the propellers there. Maybe that's just because I can't. It's just my eyeballs don't work. Yeah, okay. I think that's enough. I can see you uh, You use the skull for the center again. And you've got uh, some... It looks like a, a gate and then a fence piece there. Okay, now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. The beans can stay. The beans are back, everybody. We survived. Like Johnny Depp, the beans have had new light shed upon them. Mig, I love the amount of detail you are able to cram into this thing. Because, I mean, let's let's be let's be honest here. Okay, you said this is one-to-one -one scale. And you can see in the picture above my head, this little black line represents 10 meters. That's 10 blocks. Okay. <laughs> JR, good to see you. You did, Naval. That was that was a whole film trilogy's worth of plot development right there. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if you look at uh, my mouse right here, you can see this little black line. That's 10 meters. That's 10 blocks. So looking at this thing right here, honestly, I don't think that's much more than 100 blocks long, Mr. Meg. Yeah, 125 meters. That's only 125 blocks. I don't know if you guys have tried to put a tremendous amount of detail onto something that was only 120 blocks. 
um, not as easy as you think. So the fact that this looks the way that it does is very, very, very impressive. I mean, the, the, the same can be said for slushes here. Like this, that can only be like a handful of blocks long. And then you've got an insane amount of detail crammed into it. And I do mean cramped. Oops. I want to pull up the full picture. I like how you've got them all like in a, in a line. Like as a fleet. But God, that retro distance is killing me, man. Have you tried saving this world and exporting it to someone that has like a a better machine or a a, a way to up that render distance a lot further? <laughs> Hold my beer, hundred twenty blocks. Sort the ships by country. That's cool. That's cool. Yes, yeah, Slushy. There's no way you use world at all that unique detail. Oh, this doesn't look like it was copy and pasted a hundred times. The bean tower almost fell off. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I really, really like it, Mr. Meg. Thank you so much for submitting. Looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> My European friends who are now free to go to sleep. Unless, Ethan, are you European as well? Are you even here? I don't have any. Ebony, did I say hi to you yet? If not, I'm saying hi now. Hello! Okay, Ethan's got the HMS Diamond D34, a Type 45 Daring Class Destroyer, currently serving as one of the six... It's a, one of six of the destroyers, this one being put into service on 12 July 2011. Okay. So we gotta look that up now. Uh... HMS Diamond D34. Ooh. This one's a slopey boy. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Well, like a radar tower in the back with a big old ball on it? Looks like a golf tee. It looks like someone tried to drown a unicorn and then beat its head a hundred times with a baseball bat. It's cool though. I get. Okay, this picture is really big, so let's. Uh... I would lie to. Oh wait, no, there we go. Got some good detail. Can you guys see this even with my little head in the way? There. I'm gonna disappear for a second. All modern ships look like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the next build up theme is street. I was thinking either aircraft or castles. Cause I like I like castles. And I got I had a suggestion uh from Oscar. He was in here a little bit ago. Uh he gave me a pretty good suggestion. It's like this one fort. Um yeah. All right, let's check out your build here. I want to look at this top-down picture first. Open the original. Oh, it's a little blurry, but that's okay. Looks like you cropped it. Yes, my face is, in fact, gone. Um, it was stolen. Uh, so you guys are going to have to like and subscribe in order for it to uh, come back. If everybody eats one bean right now, my face might come back. I really like the symmetricality of this. Really like all the little details. It's it's pretty clean, it's not messy. There's not too much on the deck. Uh, let's scoop on over to this. Well, I mean, looking at the real picture now, it's it doesn't look like there's much on the deck. Most of the uh, most of the boat looks like it's <laughs> on the inside. I ate beans sixty nine hours ago. <laughs> no, don't do it. 
Yeah, I mean, it's honestly it doesn't look like there's too much on the deck to begin with. So let's uh, pull up another comparison picture here. This one looks like it'd be the best one to compare. Oh, really like what you did right here. That looks great. Might be a little big, but honestly, I mean, how, how could you make it any smaller? You know what I mean? Without it just being a, a cube. Okay, you got the gun, uh, the turret right there. This looks pretty accurate. Yeah, there doesn't look like there's a lot of clutter or, or mechanical instruments um, crowding up the deck space. It's got a very brutalist design. Is that right? Brutalist? Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of angles, it's sparse, geometric in like a, a, a plain kind of pragmatic way. Yeah, you've got these different instruments on the back there. I'm getting a little of a overlap with the ship in the back there, so I'll try not to comment on that. Looks like your water's overflowing. That's fine. No, oh, is this like a dock? That's cool. I like how the ship is pulled up to the dock. Little command area there, bridge. I can see that, that's good. Not getting as much of the structure here. That trapezoidal look, you can see right. This guy right here that I'm circling with the red thing on the side. It's got another ball on it. I'm not picking up too much on that trapezoidal shape right here, but that would be so flippin' difficult to do. <laughs> That's really brutal, I don't know if you can show this. Boo! But yeah, I think you figured out the angle of the ship really, really well. The instruments and the, the antenna and, I mean, like I said, just the minimalist, brutalist design of this thing, I think you've captured that pretty well. All the turrets are where they should be. All of the walkways are where they should be. If there's an interior, again, like if you guys make ships with interiors, please don't shy away from showing it. There's the front. Looks great. There's a flag. It's floating in its little pool. It's a boat in a pool. Well done, Ethan. Very impressive. Let's go back up here. We've got Smucko Guap. Smucko Guap. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. It looks like this build here uh, says he was inspired by the Titanic, but didn't build the Titanic. It is an abandoned shipwreck. No world edit used. Okay. I'm gonna pull up these pictures and then I'll put everything back up on the screen in just a second. There we go. Yeah, Mr. Blue! Blue ones. Blue ones. Hydration time. There you go. Drink your water. <laughs> Hydration is key. It is key. Makes your organs weak. I 
That just reminds me of that episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine where Jake Peralta is uh, <laughs> his his girlfriend is forcing him to drink water all the time. He's talking to one of his coworkers. He's like, "Ugh, water is the worst. I don't understand why I have to drink. There's water on everything." <laughs> He's like, "There's there's there's water in in juice. There's water in coffee. There's there's water on in those on those little puddles on pepperonis and pizza. It's like that's that's not water, Jake. That's that's grease." He's like, "Well, it's wet, isn't it?" <laughs> All right, abandoned shipwreck. Well, this is interesting. You got some uh, smoke coming off of it? Something like that? Ugh. I need to clean my glasses. Can't see jack all. The Chicago Bean is cool. I've been there. There is a picture of me somewhere floating around next to that damn bean. most redundant thing I've ever done in my life. Ugh. Yay, yay. Guys, I am so blind, I can't see anything. Eh, better. Good enough. Okay. Well, I like it. I like that you decided to use uh, leaf blocks to kind of <laughs> connect you to, to show that there's like, uh, uh, what's that, algae uh, hanging off of the, the cables. That's smart, I like that. Here we go, I got some pictures of is it just the bow, like it's just the front of the ship, you don't have the back, or are there both? Yeah, I really like how this is kind of like eaten out. You know, it makes me wonder what all this pig had to do with the, uh, the build, or the ship being in this condition. I really like it, actually. This reminds me of, uh, like, say you're playing Uncharted and you're Nathan Drake and you're going through the forest. And you uh, you come across a, a beached vessel, and this is what it would look like, eaten out. Yes, it's the back. So it's been eaten out in the back. Oh yeah, I can definitely tell. Looks like it was chopped in half. Where did you go? Oh, this might be my favorite shot. Right here. Yeah, I like that. It's not complicated, but like... You've shown quite a bit of discretion in where you're putting, like, your grass blocks and the grass itself, the leaf blocks. It's, like, just random enough to look like it occurred naturally, and it doesn't, like... It's not like patterned, you know what I mean? Which I think was very important. You also got a bunch of random uh, fence pieces and looks like a couple of gates maybe under here. A bunch of holes, it, it, it looks like, and it follows a similar breakage pattern here. See how this kind of goes like that? It's like the letter B, Ooh. and so is this. Ooh. So it looks like it, it fractured along similar stress points, which I think was very smart. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a bottom in there or much of an interior at all, which, you know, it's kind of disappointing, but, you know, not everybody likes to make interiors. Yeah. It's like a well-decorated Hollywood set. <laughs> I like it. Very well done. Good job. I can see sort of the boat that it probably was when it was in commission. You know what I mean? Bean Lords Unite! 
You made the wood falling apart? Yeah. yeah. I can tell. It looks good. Okay, now for our last submission. Ooh, throwing some shaders in here. We have RMS Potato 1933 who says, so my build for this build off is the White Star Line SS Nomadic. 1911 now located in belfast northern ireland i built it with full interior and i'm really proud of my little build we'll post more pics later i certainly hope so this looks great all right so obviously got to pull up our companion our comparison shot sorry so this is the white star line ss nomadic Nineteen eleven. Wait, this sucker's just sitting in dry dock out in Ireland somewhere. That's kind of sad. I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good shape, though. I don't know if you guys can see; it's right above my head. There we go. Yeah, it looks like they've kept up with the paint. It's been well maintained. Is this like, is it, is it like a hotel now or something? Would make sense. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the build off version here. Uh, iron bars. What else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Uh, I can't complain about that. It's got this kind of like large mouth bass quality to it. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it's like rounded and kind of sweeping. It's it's it isn't quite as angular or or aristocratic as some of the other White Star Line ships. Like it its style doesn't seem too far off from a riverboat in like New Orleans. Uh, it's just obviously like, you know, sloped in under there uh, for for deeper waters, longer trips. It was only a tender ship to ferry passengers to the bigger ships. Yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't look particularly big. I mean, like, you know, compared to some of the larger ships. I mean, obviously, it's it's just as big as this damn apartment building behind it. Um, yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. I like that you can see it underneath the water here. Whatever uh, shaders you're using allows us to see underneath there. I appreciate that. Um, let's find a better picture of it. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that's a photograph or an artist rendition, but it's good enough for government work. Yeah, from the other angle there. Yeah, that's that looks a bit. Those are like mirror images, not mirror images. Uh, you know what the hell I'm trying to say. All right, it looks like uh, you've got all of the little, the accoutrement matches up pretty well you've got these archways these little structural arches whatever the hell they are uh, point them out for you right here I'm running my cursor along them right there looks very good entrances there look just fine they're indented right here uh, they're not the door isn't centered which is fine it might be bigger in, in, you might have made it bigger than the real thing. Which is saying something. But I mean, it, it allows you to add in the the <laughs> the required amount of detail in order to get it to look like that. Tried your best for only three days. You did this in three days? Wow. I gotta say, you did a fantastic job. The flag looks great. The stern looks great. You got this kind of lip that comes off the end, just like that. The slope in the rear looks great. 
Might need to be a little deeper before it goes into the rudder, but honestly, I think you've nailed it. I could be wrong on that. It doesn't look like you made the lip. Oh, never mind. What am I looking at here? There's that rear lip there, and then there's this other lip that goes right across the bottom there that doesn't seem to be included in yours, but that's fine. That is fine. It looks like it would come right through here. And if it's there, maybe I just can't see it. Pull this up. Yeah, dude, this looks awesome. Oh, this night shot. I love the night shots. Look at that. You've got a fully illuminated interior. Oh, you're a man after my own heart. Look at that. You guys know I love that. Let's get rid of the real life comparison. I think you guys get the picture. All right, let's take a look at your interior. You said you posted some more? Oh, the engine room. Looks so cool. Oh, I like the... Okay, yeah. Using some different pieces here. Got a bunch of buttons. Uh, got some levers, levers, however you want to say it. Fire going in there. Nice ambient glow. Looks like a shovel on the wall over there. Uh, compasses, clocks. But then the, uh, the what are those? The, the tripwire hooks? Those are pretty great. Ah, no rush. We're, we're getting soon to the end of this stream anyways. And this is where everybody would uh, sit around waiting to get to their bigger boat. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Granite, looks great. I'm guessing this is like a, a concession stand over here. Yoink. Good high resolution photos, thank you so much. Yeah, ceiling looks great, interior looks great. Carpeting. Your appropriate steps going up and down. A lot of wood in the interior, a lot of wood, a lot of white paint. I like the use of the chiseled quartz. Really like what you did with the ceiling here. I think that looks fantastic. Looks like you made little, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stair pieces facing in around the block. And then you just had like a gap stair pieces there and then to make sure that it's even you probably put some slabs in this little three block area there am i guessing that right maybe maybe doesn't matter ha <laughs> ha i guessed something All right, Thomas, this looks awesome. Or should I say, Mr. RMS Potato. Very excellent. All right, comes that time again where we gotta figure out which ones we wanna add to the thing. I'm gonna do it in secret. All right, I know which ones I'm gonna add to the, uh, the archive. have to grab them and save them that's all okay so bear with me guys while i pick which ones i want to put in there
Ooh, this is tough. I only want to choose three. It's really hard. Ooh. Ah, screw it. I gotta make a call. All right. All right. I made a call. So if you guys want to go to the Discord and you will be able to see which ones I am adding. So today is April 26th, 2022. Build off selection. We have <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> ah. Okay. there guys all right putting the last one in there right now Okay. <laughs> With every 10 purchases, you get a free mustache. Wish. Do you guys have any idea how much stuff I would give away if I just had the means to do it? Like, I wish I could give absolutely everyone, like, a custom gaming computer. Okay, that's the official selection of... The April 26th, 2022 build off is RMS Potato and the SS Nomadic, Slush and his custom airship, and Lamig with the BDK 102. Just short and sweet, uh, truncated the names as much as I could so you could still see what they were. But yes, those are the boats that we are picking. Look at that beautiful mother effort. Look at that beautiful boat. Look at that beautiful boat. Those are my three favorites. It's, God, it was so close though. Uh, it was a clear front runner though. Uh, Mr. Thomas, very well done. That, that was very much my favorite. It's, it's uh, there's, there's a soft spot in my heart for early 20th century uh, architecture, uh, boats, <laughs> vehicles in general. Um, skyscrapers, all that stuff. I absolutely love it. Uh, I want to thank you guys so, so much for playing along. Um, the next build-off starts next week because obviously I didn't get around to reviewing last week's build-off until today, which is normally when I would uh, announce a new topic. Um, but what I want to do is I want to kind of like compile a list of other possible topics before I go and submit the next one. Uh, yes, thank you guys so much for stopping by for the stream. Thank you so much for participating in the build-off. Remember, there are links in the video description to check out the Bean merch. We had an order from Germany the other day. Awesome. So cool. You can get hoodies. There's kids stuff. There's adult stuff. 
There's uh, there's stickers, there are mugs, there's all sorts of awesome stuff up there. I would really appreciate if you guys check that stuff out. Otherwise, just follow the links in the description to join us on all social medias. I post maybe once a month on every social media but Discord. Um, and whenever we're uploading new videos or streams, I try to post everything up out there. Huge, huge thank you to anyone who donates via Super Chat or who has become a YouTube member. Really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, onward and upward. Until next time, everybody. Love you guys.